for the past few years, when it comes to music, listening to rap, UK rap music, US rap, has been quite a big part of my life. I'd probably say that I've listened to this music maybe one, two hours a day. And for a lot of you young guys out there, it's probably quite similar, with a couple of my favourite artists being Drake and Dave, these guys that are very well known in kind of the hip hop rap. A lot of people, I'm sure yourself, whether you're from the UK or the US, you probably know both of these guys very top of kind of the the rap game, I guess you say. Um, these guys are very good at what they do. Their music is good, and I'm not going to say it's not. However, over the last few months, I've decided to take a step back from listening to this type of music because I do honestly believe it's worse than a lot of people truly consider. I don't think a lot of people really think too much about anything, to be honest. Everyone, like I say, is kind of an NPC living kind of on autopilot, but particularly when it comes to music, I don't really think many people really take into consideration the types of music they're listening to and what it's actually doing for them, like inside their brain and the, the music that they're listening to is gonna change their thoughts, it's gonna change what they truly believe and then it's gonna change their actions. And when it comes to listening to the stuff like degenerate kind of rap music, that's not gonna be a positive effect, is it? It's not gonna be a great thing when you're listening to all these rappers telling you how much money they make, how many hoes they're fucking, how they used to sell weed and scamming people and all of this type of stuff like it's not really going to have a positive effect and i just want you to maybe think back think back to the last time you listened to some rap music and really think to yourself how did that make you feel because i know myself when i think about it i never really feel great do i i don't feel great after listening to this music I listen to a lot more kind of classical, kind of soothing music now, which a lot of people be like, oh, that's so bent, like how old are you? You're, you're like 22, why are you doing that? But I honestly think it does have a massive effect on, like I say, what you believe, your thoughts and then your actions, which is massive. For me, I truly believe that a lot of people worship these rappers nowadays. You see big concerts and stuff and girls will be like crying they'll be like throwing like their t-shirts throwing their like bras and just fucking doing any type of degenerate shit at like these rappers and saying how much they love them and then everyone's just there on their phones not being present at all recording the whole thing all of this bullshit but I honestly do believe like it is pretty much replaced religion like these rappers like talking about this stuff about like th these women will be saying like how they used to suck this uh drug dealer's dick for a bit of weed or something like that or how many guys they fucked last week and how fake their asses and tits and like what 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 type of world are we living in and like i say i truly think it is conditioning your mind to believe that their lyrics are kind of true and relatable and that's the type of person you want to be which i can almost guarantee you it's not like if we fucking took you out of this world that we're living in it's not the type of person you want to aspire to be like whatsoever it's not the person you are but these rappers these degenerate rappers have made you believe that that's it and i do think it is really that deep you listen like we, the old saying, you are a product of your five closest surroundings. And if you are not spending a lot of time actually in the real world and you're getting a lot of your kind of feedback from the external social media world and music's a big part of your life, then it's probably likely that one of these people is one of your closest people in your life and they're going to influence you they're going to influence your thoughts and your behavior and then your actions which is massive but a lot of people don't really consider this i think there's something called neuro linguistics if i've said that right i might have completely butchered that up but this basically means that these rappers are using speech um, and their language to 
pretty much reprogram your mind into believing that's what you think is basically the same as just like brainwashing you but i think neurolinguistics is a is a word for it to describe exactly what they are doing to you but i don't think a lot of people are really thinking too much into this they just kind of just go about and be like yeah well it's not that deep i know you're probably watching this and be like oh, it's like he's being dramatic again like he, he's like lost his mind and all of this stuff but i think it's the other way around to be honest with you like no offense to you but listen to these brain dead rappers like it's not benefiting your life at all it's not it's not going to help you you don't feel good afterwards it's just simple pleasure but obviously that's the world we're living in these days and i have a bit of a conspiracy theory to be honest with you like why i i, I was looking the other day with my friend we were just bored and um i was looking at the music in the charts because i don't listen to like Capital, if you're from the UK, you'll know what Capital is. And Capital Extra, which is like a really like rap, rap kind of hip hop kind of version of Capital. And I used to listen to this all the time. And I looked at the chart music because we had to put some music on that had to be quite PG. Um, but I looked, let's actually have a look at that. Let's, let's have a look at the charts these days. I looked the other day and I'll show you the types of music that are in the charts these days is absolutely disgusting. So the UK top 40, um, honestly, I don't really know a lot of these artists, but we've got Paint the Town Red by Doja Cat. Um, don't know anything about uh, Doja Cat. I don't think her music is great at all. Uh, Sprinter by Dave and Central C. I, I do like the song, but again, very degenerate, talking about women, money, drugs, all of this stuff. Um, nearly all of the artists I can tell, other than the one at two, is within the top 12, they're all women, again. Wanting to make the world a lot more feminized and all this stuff. Like, it's just it's just not what it used to be i couldn't believe kind of the you got Nicki minaj in there and like i don't even know a lot of these artists harry styles it just it's just not great anymore i'm sure like i'll show you the top 10 at the moment if you can see that like some of these artists i honestly have no idea but i can guarantee you if i played one of their songs it would be something degenerate and I feel like that has been pushed by whoever it is. I'm not Mr. Matrix or whoever it is, but I feel like it's definitely been pushed that we should listen to this type of music when it's definitely not a good thing for, especially a lot of young people that will listen to this music, that will be in the car and they'll hear this, this song about this woman who, obviously they kind of blur out some of the stuff they say, but they're talking about all these these, these guys she's been sucking off or how fake her tits are or how much money she made from music and all of this stuff that people should not be aiming for at all it just is absolutely disgusting by all means you can listen to this music as much as you want like do it I, I don't really it doesn't affect me at all and I know a lot of people will think I'm being dramatic and all of this but listen to it out of enjoyment because yeah I do listen like I say Someone like Dave has been a massive, I don't know what's the best way, he's, he's influenced my life, I would say somewhat, um, positively or negatively. I just feel like I have always been able to relate to a lot of his lyrics kind of from childhood and stuff. Um, but I, I feel like it has negatively influenced me as well. And I'm very cautious of the type and the uh, volume of content that I'm consuming um, and I think you should be a lot more too and hopefully this video will maybe make you reconsider that, I probably won't um, but like I hope, I just hope maybe one, two, three people maybe reconsider that this is not really the best thing for them and you don't need to listen to this like yeah if I'm at the gym I probably will listen to that type of music a lot more because it kind of just pumps me up and hypes me up if I'm not with my friends I do like to listen to some music but other than that I don't really listen to that much music these days because I'm just like, this is just shit. Like it's just, if you actually listen to the lyrics that a lot of people don't, they just listen to it for the music and listen to what they're actually saying. You're like, fuck, like, this is a load of shit. I shouldn't be listening to this at all. 
but maybe you should just be a bit more conscious of that and it's up to you to make your own decisions of course but just be a bit more just conscious like I say and cautious that it's not really gonna it's not really benefiting your life at all and there's also a bit of a, like a, another conspiracy theory about the frequency because a lot of frequencies can do a lot different for you because obviously we all know like there's like meditation music and stuff that have different frequencies and a lot of music like that is a lot more calming and relaxing for your mind and brain um, but think about just listening to like kind of hip-hop rap or like kind of drum and bass is really popular something that i used to listen to quite a lot i'm like if you actually took like a scan of your brain and see how that's affecting the inside of your mechanics of your of your brain you'd be like fuck this is not doing me any good at all um but i, I like i said i don't want to go too much into frequency conspiracy theory but there's definitely probably something in that um but overall for me it's more just listening to like these lyrics because they definitely do influence you whether you want to admit it or not or if you're just trying to cope and be like oh yeah i just like i just really enjoyed his music and i just like to listen to it sometimes i'm like well yeah i i do too but at the end of the day it's a bit of a cope really because i do think what we do consume in any way whether that be music tv like i say the news i say a lot is very conditioned and they want you to think a certain way obviously if you switch on the news 99% of the news is negative because that's what they want you to be kind of pessimistic and believe the world is all bad and that everything that it's just the way it is but if you actually go out into the real world it's far from the truth obviously stuff does happen that's bad but I definitely believe that they, they want you to be very negative and that's the way a lot of people are and it's worked very well and I believe they're doing very similar when it comes to music they want you to listen to these kind of degenerate rappers talk about this and think that's the way you should live your life when it's not it's not fulfilling it's not the way you actually want to if we just, just like picked you up and just shook you for like a minute you wouldn't you probably wouldn't be like that anymore but a lot of people just need that kind of just slap around their face and they just need kind of reprogramming all again they don't they definitely don't want reprogramming in a negative way by listening to this stuff this just garbage that a lot of people are talking about um and they're getting paid millions and like i say people are worshiping these people it's disgusting but i think that's enough of talking about this um maybe you'll change your mind and your thoughts towards listening to this music going forward but yeah that's been my take on it um and that's all I have for today. So link below if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me. Personal coaching, more slots coming. Um, and yeah, like and subscribe. You know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Take care.